This four transistor computer card was state of the art back in 1959 and for computer geeks, finding this card and the five ton computer that goes with it is almost like finding a real live dinosaur. I'm David Springer and Darianne with a real live dinosaur. There are only six known to exist in the entire world, and one of them has been found in a basement in Darien. Back in the 1960s, the IBM 1401 was the most popular computer in the country. Today, the five-ton piece of equipment is more akin to a dinosaur. New South Connecticut's David Springer is in our newsroom, and David, the Computer History Museum in California is very interested in this computer. As they should be, Gillian, experts from the museum have been dismantling and loading the computer onto a flatbed truck for transport back to their facility where they plan to make it operational once again. For nearly 50 years, however, the IBM 1401 has been sitting in the basement of Buzz Belfleur. He bought the punch card computer, yes, a punch card computer in the late 1950s and used it okay. as a billing system oh, for yeah, uh, close to 30 well, golf courses price, in our area. Nowadays. That is until the mid-1990s when he turned it off for the last time. Dollar for dollar, today's PCs are about 10 billion times more powerful. Still, the museum officials say they were shocked to find an IBM 1401 in such good condition. I got some wood we'll put them on, Dad. For nearly half a century, Scott Belfleur's dad, Buzz, has guarded a very rare piece of technological history. That is, until today. In 1960, the world's most popular computer was an IBM 1401. Today, there are only six of the punch card computers known to still exist, including the one carefully being coaxed out of Belfleur's basement. I had a friend of mine who came by yesterday to look things over and, uh, you know, he was just blown away. The IBM 1401 has been sold to the Computer History Museum, which plans to make it operational once again. Pretty cool. <laughs> but first, it has to protect its antique cargo from the rain and then transport the mammoth piece of equipment to its facility in Mountain View, California. All told, this computer weighs close to five tons and back in the day had about 16 kilobytes of memory. By comparison, your BlackBerry is about 10 million times faster. Absolutely, yeah. This, these are dinosaurs. And uh, when you get them running, uh, especially at the museum, uh, the kids are all excited. It's like seeing a T-Rex, you know, come to life again. And how does it make your dad feel to know that this will always be around? Oh, real good. Real good. It's been fun for us. And, uh, you know, it's taken a little while to go through, but it's going to be pretty cool. The museum officials say it will take them a couple of months to get the computer working again, but when they're finished, it will be one of only two working IBM 1401s in the entire country. In the newsroom, David Springer, News 12, Connecticut.